For the next problem, um, 1611, with changes in the dimensions. What we have is a machine part here. The two ends are 160 millimeters in diameter, but a center section is not along the same axis and only 80 millimeters in diameter. The load is applied along the axis of the outer ends and along the edge, therefore, of the center section, which means that this section here has an eccentric load of the radius, which is 40 millimeters. The formula for this is stress is equal to plus or minus the axial load, if it were on the axis, plus or minus the force times the eccentricity times the radius, or the from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber, in this case the radius, over the moment of inertia I. Now, these plus or minuses you have to figure out what do they mean. In this case it's in tension. So this is going to be just plus. In this case, the bending moment, or the bending stress, the um, inner part here is going to be uh, in tension, and the outer part here is going to be in compression, bending it like this. The inner part is going to be in tension here, but in compression from bending. And the outer part is going to be in tension from the axial load plus uh, in compression from the bending. So that is where our maximum and minimum stresses are going to come from. So now we just have to figure out what P, A, E, C, and I are. We have our load P. Our area will be pi times d squared over 4. Our eccentricity will be 40 millimeters. Our radius C will also be 40 millimeters. And the area moment of inertia will be pi times d to the fourth over 64. Plugging all these in, the minimum stress will be P over A minus PEC over I. And then it ends up being negative 20.9 megapascals. And the maximum will be P over A plus PEC over I. And that would be 34.8 megapascals.